The first gunshots have been fired from an almost entirely 3D printed gun, and unsurprisingly, it's causing quite a stir. It's been a months long buildup, culminating in a video showing gunmaker Cody Wilson firing off a shot from a handgun dubbed the Liberator. Previously, we'd seen test firings of partially 3D printed weapons, but this is the first time he demonstrated firing an almost entirely plastic handgun with his hands. The Liberator, which is a nod to a cheap pistol used in World War II, is made of 16 parts, 15 of which are 3D printed. The one metal part is just a nail, which acts like a firing pin. The gun was printed on a Stratasys Dimension SST 3D printer, which has also been used to build these magic arms for a young girl with a disability affecting her arm mobility. For his part, though, Wilson is founder of Defense Distributed, which is a pending nonprofit based in Texas devoted to facilitating global access to information and knowledge about 3D printing of arms. Wilson declares an interest in private law society, and what do you know, you can donate to the organization with Bitcoin. They've been very active in developing and testing 3D printed firearms. Now, homemade guns are not new. In the 1950s in the US, stories of zip guns made at home by teenage delinquents, in the words of the New York Times, haunted the press. But given the broad distribution potential of 3D printed guns, you can download the blueprints online, some are questioning whether it should be permitted. According to federal gun laws, it is legal in some cases to make your own firearm as long as you're not selling them and as long as you comply with the safeguards ensuring that they can be found by metal detectors. That's a major concern of politicians like Senator Chuck Schumer and Congressman Steve Israel, who are calling for a ban on 3D printed weapons because they can be made undetectable so easily. Israel says security checkpoints, background checks, and gun regulations will do little good if criminals can print their own plastic firearms at home and bring those firearms through metal detectors with no one the wiser. Do you agree? Let me know in as reasonable a manner as possible in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie. Speaking of guns and technology, if you really hate the HTC One and would like to see it destroyed with an M82, be sure to check out Richard Ryan's Tech Assassin from earlier today for a play by play. Also, a reminder that Scott and I will be doing another Google Hangout on May 14th next Tuesday. We'll leave the event page in the show notes below.